What's up guys, coming to you today with a new video. Um, it's nearing the end of June, it's hot. Um, I'm in the south, and I wanna do a new video for my everyday carry. Now, nothing's really changed or um, anything like that. I just wanted to talk about a few things today. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk about was the holster that I use now. Um, I ride a motorcycle a lot in the summer, back and forth to work when I commute, and I use just one of these little neoprene, or not neoprene, it's like vinyl. It's um, made of vinyl or whatever it is. And I uh, usually just carry it in my backpack like so. But when I'm out and about, I still use my Alien Gear Cloak Tuck 2.0. Again, this is by AlienGear.com. Um, one thing I want to talk about today is my Glock 19. Um, I've had a few questions. My last um, EDC carry for the April video that I made, I had a question uh, from a user. I don't have his name off the top of my head, but he asked if I'd had any any issues with this Glock. At the time of that video, I don't think I'd fired very many rounds to this gun. Now, I will tell you, since I have fired over 500 rounds through this and not one single failure. So... To me, that's a pretty good track record. Now, I had a Keltec, <clears throat> had a Keltec P11 for a while, and it was a good gun. It was a nice compact gun to carry, but when mine and my family's life depends on it, I want something that's going to go boom every time I pull the trigger, not every ninth time not do it. So, um, again, I've got a Gen 4. Glock 19. I've done the wide inlay in the um, slide. I've got the grip plug, Infidel. Got the Punisher back plate. And I have three of the Punisher mag base plates. Um, all of this is just, you know, for decorative, uh, then for decorative purposes, for um, personalizing pretty much. But I do have a Crimson Trace Defender 121, the Defender Series, red laser, activated by this little red button when you get a nice grip on there, it's right there at the end of your finger, so boom, it's on, boom, it's off, and I do have the extended Glock slide release, that is all I have done to the pistol as far as internals is just this piece here, I, I haven't done any of the trigger bar or the connecting rods or the three and a half pound ghost connector and all that BS. I don't want a modified gun. And the reason I say that is if I ever have to use this in self-defense, I don't want it. I don't want to have to explain why my gun is made or has been modified with a lighter trigger because the prosecutors are more than likely going to say it's for it's to make it easier to kill with. And that's not I know nobody has the intentions of that when they modify you know, trigger bar, spring, whatever, you know, connecting rods, whatever. I know that's not the intention, but I know that's how it's going to come down if something ha ever happens and you have to use your weapon in self-defense. Now, with that being said, like I said, that's all I that's that that's all I have done to mine is just a little slide release there. It's just got a little extended nub on it to get a better to get a better thumb on it. Like so. So, that's all I've done to this gun. And then the appearance stuff, of course, the, the white inlay. I like the white. It looks good. So, now I'll get on to the rest of my everyday carry. It has changed a little. I don't really carry a pocket knife anymore. And I'll show you why. In my wallet, I've got, um, if you watched my other video, I said that I got this from some little Facebook thing which is true I, that's where i got it from I had to pay shipping on it unfolds into a little knife it's a credit card size folds out into a knife with a metal blade is very sharp actually coming from the straight from the envelope it's very sharp so i keep that in there because i always need to cut something but i've also got this um this little multi-tool a little metal multi-tool saw blade um flat a flat end 
um, flat blade driver and uh, a few other miscellaneous um, like a hex wrench type thing and a bottle opener everybody needs a bottle opener because you always need a cold beer and it's also got a keychain hole I don't use that because I don't want that nice little knife point digging into my fat leg so I don't use that but anyway that's that's one of the other reasons I don't really carry a knife because I have this little thing so but moving on um, I still have the key bar or I'm sorry the key smart not the key bar I have the key smart and I found out there's an issue with this thing if you if you're in a hurry to get into a house or into somewhere you can damage your keys now this is the key to my front door home in, in my home um, as you can see I put just a bit too much pressure on that and it bent and when I straightened it back out it cracked so I've got to have a new house key made as far as the rest of them haven't had any issues now um, I've got gun lock two padlocks toolbox at work blah blah whatever key ring truck key yeah it's a GMC I'm not happy about it either or Chevrolet so but anyway my Galaxy S4 I don't have the OtterBox on it anymore um, the OtterBox was too bulky and when I ride I like to put it in my pocket and you just can't really do that with an OtterBox because it's got the the holster with a clip and all that on it's just too big to put in your pocket and I'm not going to clip it on my belt because I don't want a $500 phone flying off my hip at 80 miles an hour down the highway. Oh, I'm sorry, 70 if any cops are watching. Um, I do have the Magpul case on it. And uh, this is a nice textured little uh, little thing. It's not really rubberized, so it's easy to get in and out of your pocket. And I also have one of those, one of those brake resistant um, little glass things that go on the front. I don't, I don't know what the hell it's called. You know what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, that's about all I carry now. I got rid of the knife. Um, really don't carry the tactical pen light anymore. Uh, it's just one more piece of garbage to keep up with. And I usually have my hands free for my phone, of course. Uh, and uh, But I wanted to show you guys we're talking about the, the red and the blue label um, Glocks when you get them. Mine is a... Uh, Mine's a red label. But it did come with three magazines. I saw one of the reviews on one. Someone said um, that theirs come with three, and they thought it was because it was a blue label. That is not true. All the new Gen 4 Glocks come with three magazines and the extra back strap, the dovetails. It comes with a large and a medium, and then um, another grip. Well, you know what? I'll just show you. Hold on. I've got these right here in the box. So pop this open I've actually got the other spare parts that I took off there's the old slide release um, the old slide plate anyway this is what you'll get in the pack um, there's normally two of the beaver tail back straps of course I've got the medium on the pistol this one is a large you can see the um, there's an L printed you might be able to see it or not I don't know there's an L printed right on the bottom of that for large Maybe you can see this one better on the regular grip. See the M and the L's on the bottom of them. That's medium and large. It comes with a medium and large uh, regular back strap, and then it comes with a medium and large dovetail back strap. But what it's also going to come with in the side of this, uh -huh, in the side of this little holder, you got take those out, pop that one out. You get this little tool that looks like a, it's just uh, it's to push the pin out. Is what it's for. But if you'll notice, right here, you've got a, a little thing there to hold something, a little pin and a little thing there. Well, this little thing on this side actually has a pin in it. Now, the one that is normally in here is longer. When you get it out of the box, when the grip's not on the pistol, the one in here is going to be longer. Now, what that is is because this, obviously, this back strap is wider than the back strap of, of the grip. You have to have a longer pin so you'll push the pin out with this then you'll put the new pin in the longer pin so that's that but this does come with uh, these and like I said I've got all my spare parts my mag plate bases and uh, 
I've got let's see what else I've got in here yeah whatever um, so yeah that that's my new EDC torch summer I don't like I don't have I don't like having a lot of crap in my pockets when I'm walking around and I wear jeans all day at work so I don't want I don't want the extra stuff in my pockets when I'm you know bending pick stuff up and in squatting down to pick stuff up I don't want anything else jabbing me in the leg it's already bad enough having to sweat my ass off for you know 10 hours a day but anyway that's what I carry now end of June uh, or I'm sorry it's middle of June middle ish so I will uh, I'll probably be making another video as toward winter because in the winter time or when it's cooler I carry my cloak slide the outside the waistband holster this is a shell for one of my other pistols but it goes on there but well, what I did notice with the Glock when you um, when you get a cloak slide if you order it for the Glock 19 you're gonna run into an issue with this with the back it fits in there just like just like that is how it lays in there when the shells on it now what you'll notice I can get against the white background where you can see it right here this gap if you have to draw you want to be able to get a full grip on the firearm as you extract it from the holster now you see I notched out that part right there with a Dremel because originally it was flat all the way across and you could not get your fingers between it I would have to get um, a semi grip out here and then pull it up and then I could you know get a full grip which to me is not not very good now I do uh, show you the ammo that I use now or the ones that I carry um, yeah by the way you're on top of my safe ammo safe so I've got this is what's in the mag now golden saber um, it's a jacketed hollow point pretty much high performance it's, uh, that's the golden saber and um, I've got those and I've got federal aluminum shoot a few of those from time to time I've got some perfectas these are uh, these these are actually pretty good rounds I mean the, the aluminum rounds are good too but I especially like these but um, I shoot those occasionally shoot the aluminum occasionally I, I shoot um, I also shoot some steel ammo I don't have any of it now I'm, I'm running low I'm down to about 400 rounds but that's uh, that's pretty much it you know I, I don't uh, I don't spend a lot of money on ammo I'm gonna shoot every day now these these golden sabers are there's uh, let's see here this is a box of 25 124 grain 9mm you can see I paid um, $22 for the box at Don's Weaponry local shop which makes them roughly a dollar a round these on the other hand they're about 20 and a half cents around these are a little easier to shoot easier on the wallet but I would recommend shooting a couple mags of what you're gonna carry so you know that they shoot but what I done first with my Glock when I first got it was I loaded up all three magazines with three different ammos and I just continually racked all the rounds through the pistol eject 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 just cycle all three magazines through it so I know they would feed in the event that I needed one before I got a chance to shoot them so but that's it I hope you guys enjoy this is actually like the first time I've been on camera um, where you can see my face most of the time it's from here down whatever but if you'll notice yes I'm an Auburn fan you can suck my ass if you don't like it but anyway um, comment if you guys have any suggestions what I should add um, if you got any questions about what I'm carrying if you if you, if you want to know any, anything else about the galaxy the, the little survival tool 
my Glock, the holsters, anything, just let me know. Like I said, I'll be happy to help you guys out. Oh, uh, one other thing. Ooh, I want to show you one other thing. This is the cleaning kit that I use. I bought this. This was fairly pricey. It was about 40 bucks at Walmart. But it's the Hops Elite gun kit on the go. It comes with um with a four ounce bottle of cleaner, a two ounce bottle of oil. Um, let's see if I can get that there where you can see what's in there. Oh well, shit, where is it? No, it's right here on the front, but you see what all comes in it. I wrote up on it because um for some reason I had a I, I had a bad habit of opening it upside down, shit went everywhere. But that's um that's what's in it right there. There's a four ounce bottle of cleaner, a two ounce bottle of, of T3 oil. There's four little filled packets of oil and four little filled packets of cleaner. There's a brush, extending, um, extending pusher. There's, um, why, or there's patches. There's, you know, it's actually a nice little kit for 40 bucks. I have added a couple things to it. A little, uh, a little bore light, um, a little Winchester bore light and a couple like, you know, the shop rags on a roll, paper towel type things. Keep a couple of those in there. It does have a little gun mat in there, but I just, I use that one because the little gun mat's white and it shows it's nasty. It'd be nasty as hell if I use it all the time. But I do keep my clean, or I, I do keep this clean, you know, carrying it on my side every day. It tends to get, it gets crap up in the barrel. It doesn't really get anything down here anymore because I've got, um, the grip plug or butt plug I guess you could say my Glock has a butt plug imagine that but uh, I put the infidel plug in now one thing to note if you have a gen 4 and you use the back strap you will have to get one of these grip plugs that's made for a gen 4 with the back strap because the way it's made it's cut out because the bottom of this grip has these little notches that hook around hold on I'll grab one these grips have these little notches down here at the bottom that will grip the underside of that hole now if you use just a regular just a regular grip plug that'll fit a gen 3 some of the gen 4s say they'll fit but they don't I mean they'll fit but you're not going to use your backstrap with it so if you want to use your backstrap like I have you have to get one that has the little notches cut out for the back of it or else you won't be using your back straps so i found that out the hard way i ordered one and it would actually cost me more to send it back than it would to keep it so i kept it and sold it to a local gun store for about four bucks less than what i give for it which was still i still lost less than i would if i sent it back so but that's it Glock gen 4 um like i said if you guys have any questions um, just ask, man. I'm, I may not get back to you right away, but I will eventually reply. Um, Alien Gear Holster, um, Hops Elite Gun, um, Gun Kit Pro, and Galaxy S4, which they all suck ass now. I don't know why. Apple, Samsung, they all suck. Uh, what happened to the phones you could just make a phone call on? What, what happened to those? Anyway, um, but yeah, that's it. If you guys have any questions, man, hit me up in the comment section below. And uh, subscribe. I've actually got upwards of about 34 subscribers now. Ooh, it's crazy. I got a lot of subscribers. But seriously, if you guys need, um, if you have a question, ask, man. I'll help you out if, if I know the answer. If I don't, I'll find it. But uh, anyway, guys, thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. It's almost 20 minutes. I, you know, I can't give you 20 minutes of your life back. So, anyway, thanks. Subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.